Meet Joe, an ambitious young man who yearns for success. Sound familiar? Maybe you know someone like Joe. He's aggressive, relatively successful, and determined to reach the top. A real go-getter. But something is missing. Something that has caused him to be not nearly as financially successful and internally fulfilled as he knows he could be. One day, Joe is fortunate to be introduced to a man named Pindar, known by some of the most highly successful people in the world simply as the chairman. Over the next week, Joe meets some of Pindar's former protégés, who are extremely financially and personally successful. With Joe, they share the five laws of stratospheric success. They explain to Joe that if used together, these somewhat counterintuitive five laws will lead him to huge success, as it did for them. It only makes sense because these are the same laws people have used in order to be successful in any market-based economy. The Law of Value Your true worth is determined by how much more you give in value than you take in payment. The Law of Compensation Your income is determined by how many people you serve and how well you serve them. The Law of Influence Your influence is determined by how abundantly you place other people's interests first. The Law of Authenticity The most valuable gift you have to offer is yourself. The Law of Receptivity The key to effective giving is to stay open to receiving. But like any ambitious young man, Joe first challenges these laws before applying them. The Law of Value, he thinks. This sounds like a recipe for bankruptcy. That sounds reasonable. After all, how does one give more in value than they take in payment and still make a profit? How is value measured? Joe learns that while price is a set dollar figure and finite, value is the relative worth or desirability of a thing to the end user or beholder. So in other words, what is it about this product or service that brings so much value that a person will willingly exchange their money for it and be ecstatic about it? For example, if Joe hired an accountant to do his tax returns and she charges him $1,000 for her fee or price. When she saves him $5,000 in taxes, hours of work, and provides peace of mind and security that it was done correctly, she gives Joe value far beyond the $1,000. She gives Joe more in value than she took in payment. Joe feels terrific about it and the accountant makes a very healthy profit. Joe learns quickly the kind of relationship he wants to have with anyone with whom he does business. He discovers how to shift from getting to giving constantly and consistently providing value to others. This new focus allows Joe to experience a fulfilling way to live while profiting financially as well. Moving from an I or me focus to an other focus is one of the most profitable things a person, especially ambitious Joe, can ever do. Here's the thing, money is an echo of value. It's the thunder to value's lightning. In other words, value comes first and the money is simply the natural and direct result of the value provided. The law of value proves to be a good start for Joe, but it's only a start. As important as it is, it represents only his potential income. But tying together the other four laws with the first creates the real transformation for Joe. Things improve rapidly. Making money appears effortless and the returns excitingly unexpected. These laws can do the same for you, just as they did for Joe and for so many of today's hugely successful leaders, entrepreneurs, and salespeople. Join Joe along with his mentors, Pindar, Ernesto, Nicole, Sam, Deborah, Rachel, and of course, Gus, and be delighted by this quick, easy to read story about a powerful business idea. Actually, a powerful life idea. Enter your name below to receive the first chapter of the Go-Giver.